Hello, Francesca Ragucci here, CEO of Francesca Ragucci Marketing, helping you redefine your reputation today. Let's talk about social media worthy pictures and video. Now, what do I mean by that? Here's what I mean. Are your pictures and video looking natural on social media? So let's take a look at pictures right now. So you have a photographer who takes pictures of your property yourself and they are horizontal or vertical. On social media, we have Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, and YouTube, your website, email marketing, so forth. You want to have pictures that look pleasing and natural on each one of those platforms. For example, Twitter only allows for horizontal pictures. Now, you're welcome to post a vertical picture. However, Twitter crops automatically, so it's best to post horizontal to be natural to the platform's behavior. Each platform you utilize on social media has a different behavior, so your pictures and videos must match this behavior and look pleasing and have you garner attention on social media that reflects your brand, which equals your reputation in a proactive, positive manner. As you redefine your reputation and have integrity in your work and courage in your actions. So Instagram allows for one, one square vertical and horizontal. LinkedIn allows for vertical and horizontal and square. Facebook allows for vertical, horizontal, and square. YouTube allows videos that are horizontal. Do you understand the flow at which I'm speaking? It's about dimension right now. So let's say you are meeting your photographer and you're getting those headshots. You're getting those headshots coming up perhaps for a new year or celebrating your new position or your new look, your new style. Make sure that photographer photographs vertical image and horizontal images. That way you're able to provide my company images that we're freely able to use and apply to your social media platforms. No matter if it's a Facebook cover or a YouTube thumbnail or your profile picture on Instagram, those dimensions matter and having pictures and video that look pleasing on each one of those platforms and my company is able to have those pictures and video horizontal and vertical and be able to crop them and size them accordingly to each one of the platforms to again match the behavior and have it look natural is what we are achieving here because let's say you have a vertical picture of you and you want to post on Twitter, it will be cropped. Twitter will crop it the way they want to crop it. And that means you may get cut off. And what happens is when someone's scrolling through the Twitter news feed, they may see half of you or they may see a condensed version of the picture and they'll just keep scrolling, okay? Instagram. Now we see many different dimensions on Instagram. I absolutely implore you to have vertical pictures on Instagram. Why? Because Instagram is a mobile driven app. All these apps are mobile driven. The whole internet is mobile driven today. So think mobile first. When you are looking at your phone, it is pleasing to look at a picture that covers up all of the phone or most of the phone so it catches your attention with the scroll. One of the actions we're taking here is to stop that scroll, okay? Stop the scroll. <laughs> and having a video or a picture that's vertical and takes up a large amount of the phone will in fact stop the scroll, okay? So what that means is when you're on location with your photographer or videographer, ask them. Ask them to take vertical and horizontal for the day. I'm sure they absolutely want to 
to really help you and your business. Make sure when you have these pictures that there's space around you. There is space. So right now you see me in this video. There is space aside of me on each side, my left and my right. There's space above my head. Why? Because what I do after this video, which is now being recorded in a horizontal fashion, so it's natively going to YouTube. I'm natively posting it to LinkedIn because it suits a long form video fashion. Here's what I do. So this is macro content as I'm recording this video. I will take this video that I record and I will size it to a one one square. I will size it to a vertical video for stories. Do you see where I'm going? So I'm giving myself enough space in this video to crop it accordingly so it looks natural in other platforms. That's a bit of a tip for you. So without recording four videos in a row at every single dimension, just record one video or two, get that vertical video in, I definitely recommend it, and back up a little bit. Give yourself some space. Have an environment that's pleasing to your brand. That way, when you give the video and you give the pictures to my company, we're able to size it accordingly so it looks natural and your presence grows and you garner attention from your client and you have a pleasing social media platform. So that is it. That is how to have a social media worthy presence when it comes to your images and video. Now I must tell you one thing. My business now has personal photographers and videographers. I am stepping into my courage and confidence and accessing photographers and videographers in your city when you partner with Francesca Rigucci Marketing as a monthly marketing client. This is one of the personal touches that we have, the details, which all of the details matter. So whether you're in a city like Seattle or Potomac in Maryland or Washington DC, New England or Los Angeles, California, my business is able to access a personal photographer and videographer. And what these individuals do is they go out and photograph in your environment. So as a realtor, or a hotel owner, you take pride in your city or town or beach area, mountainous area, rural countryside. And this photographer and videographer, along with the pictures that you provide that you want on your social media, they go out and they photograph the city, the towns, the area in real time in order to get some real time seasonal footage. And perhaps your season is just about the same most of the year like you're in LA or California. It still is a great option for you because we're able to photograph the process of certain neighborhoods growing or different areas of the neighborhood and spotlight certain shopping centers or restaurants or schools or you being yourself and at a client meeting. So the personal photographer or videographer captures the scenes of the neighborhood and what you are doing in your business. You're speaking and a personal photographer accompanies you and captures some footage. You are at an open house or at a broker event. Your personal photographer goes with you. And so we coordinate this in a way where my company has trustworthy photographers and videographers that are able to help cater to you. This is one of the many personal touches that my business has for you right now. So thank you so much for watching this video. Go to francescariguchi.com for more videos and I will see you next time.